happy weekend for you guys. Winding down Friday night, and we still got some daylight, so I'm trying to take a little bit more advantage of that. Back up to Grandpa's, got to take care of some more stuff. But man, I have kind of neglected this poor truck. This truck, it's... I still drive it a lot, but for some reason it goes weeks or months, not months, but it goes it goes long lapses of not being even touched. It actually had some moisture building up on the inside of the windshield, so I had to drive it tonight. There is no question about it. Uh, I even left the tow mirrors up for you haters. I am one of them haters. I do not have a trailer right now, so my bad. Sorry, I'm hating on myself. Got my ghost trailer back there. I do like this truck a lot, man. Still got that nice, that new vehicle smell, which is, it's awesome. That's a nice smell to have. We're gonna head up here. I gotta do a little bit of TLC action on everybody's favorite Ford. But, but it's running, I took it for a rip last night. We gotta do a oil change, a little break in, fresh oil change, and uh, I got a couple more other things to work on with it. Having my 08 back in action, that thing feels great. It feels solid as ever. But man, this truck, there is something about how these new ones behave. You can only imagine how a 2019 or a 2020 truck's gonna handle it. Who's this guy? Okay, it's Domino guy, get out of the way. I did come across some news on trailer and what brand I have decided to go with. And I will uh, let you guys know as soon as we pull up here and the grandpa's and I get turned around and we get somewhat situated. Ooh. So, if you guys saw the video from last night, I came up here, took this thing for a rip, and then the neighbor wanted to ride. Well, <laughs> gave him a ride, came back, and the battery was too weak to actually start the car, so I brought up a trickle charger, the one I use for my uh, dirt bike, because my new KTM is doesn't even have a Kickstarter. It's all, it's all electric start. Where'd that thing go? Where you at, buddy? This little thing is a freaking gem. I don't think we're gonna, you can't start a car obviously with this, but this thing just kind of keeps the battery alive when you're sitting for months on end. And uh, I got a regular charger I'm gonna hook up to it so we can actually start it tonight, but we gotta get this place opened up. <laughs> Pressure's outstanding when it's cold, but we got too thin of oil in the thing, so break in oil, gonna replace that, let it run for a little bit. That baby perp smoked out the garage though. Alright, Ed just took her for a quick rip up this street. This thing runs pretty dang good. Obviously, it is way too tall of geared, so it's up to my buddy if he wants to change that. That'd be nice, but if we can sell the car and salvage some of the money that he's lost, that'd be best. But right now, we're going to go ahead and change the oil. I'll tell you what if you guys remember what that thing looked like in the beginning it is a sight for sore eyes i swapped out the uh, break-in oil put in some fresh thicker stuff we got even more oil pressure than before i don't know if you guys have been watching old cleaner's video i'm sure you have 
but his channel's pretty much been sponsored by uh, no oil pressure, and we don't want that here. So good oil pressure keeps the car running good. My buddy Ian, the owner of the car, best friend, he will be in town next week. He is on spring break. He's military, then college, and traveling the world. Cool stuff. Uh, what we all kind of wish we could do. But he'll be in town next week, so he can cry over this car or something. But let's go ahead and talk about this trailer factor now. I reached out to you guys, I don't know, a couple videos ago. I asked you what trailer brands and manufacturer dealer support and everything was the best in your opinion and a trailer brand you trusted the most. And, man, you guys reached out. That was awesome. Thank you very much. We had a lot of support off of that one. A lot of uh, recommendations and experiences and stuff were shared. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I actually emailed pretty much every one of the uh, manufacturers that you guys recommended. There was one brand in particular that stood out more than the rest. And it's funny because that is the only brand that actually texted me back. It goes to show. And he actually texted me back very quickly. I emailed a dealer in Sparks, Nevada, not California. I'd rather deal with Nevada if I can. He happens to have a Diamond C dealership. And I talked to him for a little while, told him what I wanted. And I'm not going to replace the Texas Pride, but I would like to upgrade and have a backup. Because a backup for everything is... There's nothing wrong with that. So... Bottom line is, I'm still looking for 30K, but I want hydraulic dovetail, and I've been wanting hydraulic jacks and hydraulic disc brakes. So we came into an issue with, uh, it's hard to get 15K axles with disc brakes. Now I know a lot of you guys are running 12K axles, disc brake or no disc brakes, and still running my weight or more. Uh, my weight to some people is kind of sissy. You know, 30,000 pounds behind your truck, eh, no big deal. Uh, nevertheless, I would still very much like to have the disc brakes. So if that means, I've heard some guys sacrificing their 15Ks to get the better brakes on the 12, to have the disc brakes. I really want the disc brakes. But uh, other than that, let me know how many of you guys are hauling heavy with 12K axles. Um, like 20, 22K on the deck type of an outfit. And that brings me to the next point. The cool thing about Diamond C is uh, their frame, gooseneck and everything, it's engineered. It's not bulk I-beam. It's not bulk iron. It's not overkill thick because it is just an I-beam. It's actually engineered beam. It's a little bit taller than most. It's pre-arched, so it's got more strength in its arch. And... The fact that it's not made out of bulk iron I-beams, it's stronger with their design, and it uh, it's lighter. And that fact right there is pretty nice, because in my opinion, 30,000 pounds behind either one of my trucks is kind of pushing it. And just towing around that trailer empty, mine right now, the uh, Texas Pride, it weighs like 8,500 pounds, plus the mega ramps, plus the winches stuff. It could be weighing close to 9. Towing it around is definitely noticeable when it's empty. And it's only a 20 plus 5. So lighter the trailer and if it's stronger, that is a big perk. So as of right now, I would still... Diamond C is the brand that I'm, I'm really aiming at. Because I don't want to... With videos and stuff, I want to be able to produce good quality content and not bash people. Not bash... I'm not trying to bash anybody, but if they're making a bad product, I feel inclined. I need to share it with you guys. Like, better watch out. Their brakes are garbage. They're China. They're going to fall apart. They could heat up, blow your, I don't know, whatever, you know. <laughs> your trailer's transmission could fall out if you buy this trailer brand, you know what I mean? That was a complete joke, by the way. I know a freaking trailer doesn't have a transmission. They just have four differentials. It's okay. Anyway, point being, though, I appreciate you guys reaching out. And uh, if all goes well, the dealer up there, he's very interested in the idea of videos and such. And uh, if all goes to plan... Maybe we can build something with manufacturers and stuff as we go along rather than just build videos and uh, talk about it amongst ourselves. Maybe I can bring them into these videos. I would really like that. So, right now, maybe I'll call for your support and have you tag me in some of my, tag my Instagram on there, Instagram page or something to get some more response and get them on board. But as of right now, things are looking pretty good. We just gotta, we gotta wait for the phone call and, uh, I'm very excited. I, I, it will be nice to have a trailer. I'm going to order everything possible on the thing right now because V-Belt and I were talking about it and he said, V-Belt's my dad, by the way. V-Belt and son. V-Belt's dad. Son is me. That's the channel and um, named it after him and then 
somehow I got roped into the back end of it. But uh, B Belt and I were talking about the fact that my Texas Pride wasn't everything I wanted it to be. And I'm regretting a lot of things about it now because this price tag on that would have ate a big chunk out of the price tag on this new trailer. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything I possibly could think of and want on this trailer right now. Upgraded suspension, I'm not going to go airbags, uh, disc brakes or hydraulic drums if I have to to maintain the 15k axles. I really like the discs. Hydraulic dove, hydraulic jacks, they are a big uh, option, price tag. So, I don't know, let's see, that, whew, probably get them. But everything that I need on the trailer and want, I'm going to get it this time so I don't have to worry about it next time. And, uh, you know, spend the money to get what you really want, i.e. this car right here. He spent quite a bit of money, but it wasn't quite what he wanted. And now he spent a bunch more money on it, and it's still not where he wants it. So you got to pick your battles, and my opinion is if you can get an absolute steal of a deal on something that is close to what you want, go for it. But unless it's that steal of a deal, don't go for something in between. Because you find something in between, it's going to have issues and you're going to be too much money invested in it to make it count in the end. Versus just buying the big league, the big new truck, the real car that's been restored all the way right from the get-go. Because in the end, you either spent your money at first or you're going to spend it in the end building it up to what you actually wanted. Chances are you're just going to spend a bunch more money on it. And that is the whole point of everything. Work your butt off and spend your money on stuff that you enjoy and buy stuff for your family and spend time with them in the ice house or whatever. I don't know, something. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up, guys. I think, I think it's, it's been a long enough rant. The car is running good. Ian will be here next week. Throw this thing up on Craigslist, more than likely. It'll be sad to see it go, but I'd really like to get that Blazer project going. Yeah. That'd be nice. Let's well, not be winter anymore. But anyway, guys, let's end this video. Holy crap. Talking for 7 minutes and 40 seconds. That's too long. I hope you guys stick through these rants because I really appreciate you. And uh, hit them buttons. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't hit the thumbs down. Hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It means the world. We'll see you guys next time. Later.